to get the, the I guess the reliable lockdown with the cogs follow up on it to anything that throw out so Clockwork, is he gonna walk himself away? It is gonna be the Ignite to slow down now as well. It's gonna be the Scoochie coming through. Laguna to snatch him now with the LSA. They should be able to pick up this first blood. One more right click. Laguna gets the rune and the first blood. Mid lane on this Lina. And doing a lot of harass damage over to the Lina as well. Oh, bottom lane. Oh, get the kill. Comes off CS, but the uh, pressure is gonna skill up quite harshly. Yeah, and now the cogs have been dropped onto the ogre. Marlene just on the outside, he's got the orb, will be able to pick up the kill onto the ogre. Mid lane though, are they going to be able to go into Danny? The dream call comes out now as well, Deira is going to be able to help come through. Rocket Flur going to be used, he's going to be able to get himself away, dodging off the LSA now, Marine. Orb isn't going to be on the mark, Dendi will be taken down. Looks like they get the return kill straight away, are they going to be able to take down the perk as well, Marine? Trying to get himself away, the Urn of Shadows has been used, Marine can't dive away to anywhere, and Laguna picks himself up a double kill, mega kill streak here, 5 0 and one you know he, He's saving the point, just in case, I suppose he needs to drop that ultimate uh, top lane. Are they going to be able to make a move? Because there's going to be the rotation in from Dendi. Well, as that follow up though, the Dragon Slave does come through, but the boat is going to be thrown out, the drive back onto Gatsy Gatsy will be able to get himself out alive this one it looks like they might be able to take him down the good play comes out realm will get the kills beyond gets a tower on that bottom lane but it's gonna be two good kills double win place what the shit am i watching uh you'll set to into yeah well gatsy's gonna looks like he's gonna take a fall on the ravage comes out gatsy will still go down up as he gets the kill onto this but they're gonna be able to get at least one return kill can he make it too as the jakiro gets taken out by pion he definitely doesn't. <laughs> he knows it doesn't stack, right? Yeah, this, which is why he's put one in his backpack. Meanwhile, Pion is going to get himself out of there. Now the hook shot is up. The stats don't connect the field. Even the boat going to be used. It's a really big tanky boy on the Tide Hunter, though. So he's going to survive through a lot of this realm chasing up. The glimpse is going to come out. So this should be the death of the Tide Hunter. Will be taken down as well. Hunter. Nope, they might actually find out the Wraith King now as well. The Wraith Fire Blast does come out, so it's going to be up to bait to try and catch up with this fight now. Violent does have that second life if he needs it. He's going to be burnt down pretty darn low. It looks like the Clockwork might take a dive there as well. Tries to hook himself away. There's going to be the glimpse back onto the Tide Hunter, so they do get the kill each way as it's looked. It's Denny actually that goes down, and now Wraith King will be back alive. The Torrent will connect onto Gatsy. The boat's going to be thrown out now as well. It's only going to be onto that Ogre though. It looks like the Tide Hunter is going to be able to easily slip, swim himself away. Laguna tries to get himself out. Was that revealed? Do we have anything to drag him back? It's going to be the glimpse back onto the Weaver now as well. The Weaver using that time lapse. It looks like he just put himself right back into the same spot. X marks the spot, but he's going to be able to use himself. Doesn't matter because the, du the dual breath will claim the kill. That's a Bravages, but do you think he needs his own BKB for for like the glimpse in the X marks spot? Because he's just been relocated and he's fights as it looks like Gatsy will take a fall can he get himself away the ice path gets dropped now as well realm doesn't even need to get in close and the back lines clockwork who's he gonna be able to find he has that hook available the dust is gonna be used you'll set to though coming through from lagoon to stop that hook Clock has a four staff, but that's plenty. Oh, Lina, the smoke's gonna break right point blank. LSA connects onto the Jakira, though he just uses himself. Was that hook coming through from the clock? We'll, we'll be able to get it even in the trees, and now the cogs get dropped. BKB was off, and Lina's life will wear off now as well. Even the career for Gatsy. Gatsy on the back lines. He's gonna be killed off by uh, Marine once again. They, they don't seem to be able to close them out. Uh, so maybe a little bit more time together will do the job as it looks like they're going to try and go into Realm. Realm doesn't have that Aegis anymore. The Ravager will be committed now as well. So Kunka will at least be killed off here. Marine trying to get himself away. The Dream Call will be used. The expectancy maybe like the Daedalus um, building towards the Satanic. I think as the Ulcept comes up and it's going to be right back into the Ice Path now as well for Laguna. And Laguna's not going to be able to get himself away from this. Violent does jump in trying to go with it too. Can and do the damage over onto Disruptive. It looks like Disruptive with the Glimmer Cape should be able to get away now as well. I, ice Path, are they going to be able to turn this one around? The Wraith Fire Blast actually connects onto the Disruptor. BKB going to be wearing off of Violent now but they're going to be able to pick up two. They could be able to go further on to this and blink forward. Fazia could be in trouble. You'll set to that onto Violent. Back lines. There is the Dream Call. Not up for 10 seconds now. So Marine, Wraith Fire Blast does connect. Was that LSA to follow up now as well? It looks like the puck should go down. Four heroes dead. Does Realm actually want to step up into this? He looks like he might look to clean up now as well. Violent does have that reincarnation and hide himself in the trees. Dendy's going to try and run himself away with speed. Oh, oh the, the cleave. cleave. Is he going to be able to hit the angle? He does. Those angles from Realm. 
As it looks like Pion, the dual breath will slow him down as well. Pion trying to run himself away. X marks the spot in three seconds. Realm as well with the phase boots. Should just be able to carry on going here. Will be able to get the kill onto the Tide Hunter. Violent gets low. Does still have that reincarnation. Heal here. There is a sentry ward down. I think he walked through it just momentarily, but it's going to be the drag back onto the Tide Hunter. Tide Hunter, no BKB. So the right click damage. He hooks onto the back line now as well. Violent, nice no. by the might Weaver. be able to take down. Will be able to take down the bot, but Violent. Ravage will be used it. I think he'll be able to go into the Conqueror because the Conqueror is massive at the minute. 4,000 health. He's down to just below half. He's going to turn around with the Satanic and heal pretty much up to full if he carries on going here. All rain is really low though. Nice juke with the orb. Yeah. He's still be in trouble. Dragon Slave doesn't connect, but he's going to try and get up with the phase shift to blink away now as well into the tree stream. Call's going to be used. LSA's off the mark as well. Going to try and go for the TPs, but the right click from Dendi. Is it going to be enough? Hansel has to cancel that TP. Trying to get in break in vision with the orbs, with the jaunt, with the win and rifts. It's not going to be enough. Caught up. Pion showing X marks the spot again. Still doesn't have that BKB. Building towards an axe instead. There's going to be the hook onto the back lines there as well. Pion trying to force staff himself away. Will still go down. Two heroes though. Caught in these cogs with the static storm and kinetic field coming through. Lena uses the PKB Laguna Blade is going to be there as well to Realm, but Realm is going to be able to shrug that off. Just absolutely not bothered about it. And now with the reincarnation already used onto the Wraith King, this is going to be four heroes dead. Triple kill for Realm, buyback here for Violent. Life steal. But. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they're going to be separated out now as well. The winner if comes out, X marks the spot onto Dendi. Dendi gets dragged back with the Pops BKB just afterwards now as well. Is this going to be a really nice pincer maneuver here for the side of B? LSA, will it be used? It looks like they're going to be able to take down the puck once again. Realm though, still godlike, still fighting this out. He's holding that BKB for after the Aegis now as well. Time lapse onto Violent. It looks like it's going to be enough to keep Violent alive. He just walks himself away though. Pion is in the middle of it. If you want to try and chase, it's actually going to be a kill onto the Lagoon and X marks the spot, not even need his uh, Vizier. Blinks himself up onto Pion once again. Pion trying to do his best to get himself away. Fuel Scepter does have that full staff, but is it going to be enough? Because he's going to be locked down in the Ice Path. The Cogs come out as well, and Bait lose another three heroes. Yeah, if they can kill the Puck as well to disrupt straight off the bat, that was two buybacks in the last fight. LSA doesn't connect here, and Dendi has to run himself away. He doesn't have that BKB for the next 19 seconds to hook onto the back lines. He's dead. Gatsy get chased down as well. It looks like that is going to be game number one. Going the way of Fantastic Five as Violent just gets taken down as the cherry on top. And they don't even wait for the engine to explode. They are just... Well, bait. Beastmaster, make the ultimate okay. choice. But, yeah, I think about this hero yet. The beastmaster is left out, and Pion's found on the terror. As he looks to maybe get a stack off, but Laguna can just come straight in and block this. Of course, we talk about another lane and. The Sav comes out though, he's level 2, but he doesn't have that charge for 7 seconds. Stroke of Fate comes out to slow him down once again. He's gonna Another do bash! Damage. The bash is going to be there, 2 seconds to that charge. Does he want to dive underneath the tier 1 tower? He's going to go one more oh right click. Oh my god, LWK. this guy has yep. changed. Top lane, we're going to get another skirmish coming out now as well. Realm gets to lose some beam onto Pion. Pion is looking pretty tanky though. With the, the helm, but Realm, are they going to be able to turn this one around? The shield crash comes out, and it looks like Realm's still going to be taking a lot of damage with the Earth Spike. He gets killed off there by Laguna, and Dara now with the mana drain. He's got no mana to drain, but the slow is still nice. One of those axes, one more to fly through. He uses his stick charges to try and keep himself alive. Maybe he tries to get the deny off onto Roshan. He will get the deny off onto Roshan. Okay, oh, they get the vision onto Violent now as well, so there is going to be that charge underneath the tier one. The follow for the blink, the Sonic Wave gets committed. And Marlene gets the kill. Location where you expect an enemy to be. Yeah. But I don't think uh, Realm was doing that. It's going to be the blink onto Laguna. He's going to have to get himself away because the charge comes through. It actually hits onto Denny there as well now. But we do want to try another strike. LWK is going to get really down low. The finger comes out. They're going to be able to get the kill. Violent does secure that one. Rolling Thunder though on the back lines. It looks like Dara, the Lucent Beam, onto Terrorblade. But he's just feeling comfortable to go for the Manta. Uh, Spike comes out onto two. Are they going to carry on connecting? Lucent Beam will be there onto the Lion. Lion can't get himself away from this. And Vazia gets himself a really nice team kill there. Not ready to fight. He's going to get absolutely blown up by all of the magic damage. Realm, the Mask of Manus is going to be there though, so he's not going to be able to get any spells off just yet. Will be taken down. There's going to be actually the finger from Laguna, so they get a good couple of kills. Really nice group up catching two heroes. Now grouping around with the three heroes that are still alive. I think they'll be able to get the times on them, but it's going to be Queen of Pain. Dream Cole comes out for him. The Hex was there as well, so it looks like this might be a kill. On to, yeah, and no buyback there from Queen of Pain. BKB. 
Tira there as well. Ice Path does come through. Violent, there's going to be the charge. Are they going to be able to take down Violent? He's going to get pretty darn low. Liquid Fire doing a lot of damage now as well. Is it going to be in time? Do they want to carry on going? The Yule Scepter comes out though. Faisy trying to do his best to delay this as the charge does carry on going through onto Violent. Where's that Nether Strike? Are they going to be able to finish the kill? He does get the kill onto Violent now. LWK going to be is so low. Tasked with getting out, yeah. Of aggression. Speaking about aggression, though, they might be able to move on to Vazio. Vazio's going to be able to get himself away from this, though, as he just, yeah, he just moves himself out. Um, uh, do they want to try and fight? It looks like they do. The Rolling Thunder's going to be committed now as well. That Eclipse is available if he wants to be thrown out, but the Hex will be there. So it's going to be the slow moving away for the, the Luna. Luna not going to be able to get himself away. Another finger comes through, does connect. There's going to be a big charge onto the back lines now as well, but has he gone too far here on the Spirit Breaker? It looks like they might be able to take down Laguna as well. Be in a whole lot of trouble. Now the strike. Speaking about being in trouble, though, was the rest of the rotations. X is going to be there from Laguna, though. Can he set up onto Pion? Pion doesn't have a BKB. Finger comes out, and once again, the kill goes the way of bait. They're going to set up now. Dara gets caught out with the raw. Is he going to be able to get himself away? He's not. Ice Path does connect onto Violent, but Dream Call going to be used here. Dandy might have gone in a little bit too far. Uses the Yule Scepter on himself. BKB does come out from the Luna now with that Eclipse Charge coming through from the buyback from LWK. Do they have the damage to take down? They don't because Violent gets the Sunder. And they're not going to be able to finish that kill, but it doesn't look like Pion throwing out the axe. He's walked himself back into the Ice Path actually. So they might be able to take down this Beastmaster, but Luna on the back lines. It's going to be the Soulbind. Already used that BKB, so that's going to be the carry being cleaned up from Fantastic Five. And Violent wants to carry on going here, trying to turn the screws onto Fantastic Five. Vazio's going to be taking a lot of damage. Has to yield himself to stop himself from being killed off. But the Stroke of Fate as well as the right clicks here from Violent and now Marlin, what's he going to be able to do? They do get the kill onto the Grimstroke. It looks like Marlin will go down in revenge though as Violent is on a triple kill. Unstoppable streak. Paying us up in eight seconds. The ultimates are there apart from the Eclipse. Are they going to try and go in? Rolling Thunder actually goes in the other direction. They're going to be able to lock down Dendi at least to get that kill. But the Aegis, it's going to be... Well, it wasn't picked up straight away they get the raw out onto luna luna walks himself in the lifesteal not going to be enough from the master minus to keep him alive now as well the right clicks are going to be doing the job gatsy even gets that kill and now big illusion damage coming through Violent going to try and catch up. Dodges off the ice path. Vazio is going to be able to get himself away. The back lines. BKB is going to be used for the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain uses the Sonic Wave. Violent, though, still not taken down. Has that Sunder available, so the Queen of Pain has to blink away just to make sure that Violent doesn't get that full health regen back up from the Sunder. And give it to Pando. Charge comes through. It's the four staff, but he's still caught inside the Rush Pit here, Lion. This is not where you want to be. The Soul Band is going to be used. But that doesn't really matter. The Sonic Wave just to push them back out. It looks like they might try and get aggressive onto Violent outside the Roshan Pit. What can they do here? Because the Dream Call is going to be used again, but the Sans comes out to Dendi. Dendi's going to be using that Yule Scepter. Violent wants to get in the pit now as well. Ice Path is going to be able to get that away. Just get the joint away to the Orb. For the buyback from Realm. Can they go any further now as well? The charge comes out onto Dandy. Where's the rest of the damage? It's going to be a rice. But no, the Sunder comes through. Violent. The Eclipse. Dandy might go down anyway, even with Violent trying to save him with the Sunder. Realm, he needs to be very careful because he's already bought back. This could be a dieback coming through now. But Violent is going to be able to get himself away from this. BKB he's already been using. He's going to be caught in the ice path. The wall comes out onto Realm. Realm, do they have the damage to take him down? Realm's going to try and desperately try and get himself away from this. Was that Dream Call anything to slow him down? Realm, the damage. Is it going to be enough? Gion gets himself up. And Realm, that's the dieback there for the Luna. The back lines. Violent is still alive. Going to try and chase down onto Dara. Dara though tries to get himself away with the um, the roll up. So at least the next 50 seconds. Maybe 20 if they want to get aggressive here. Fantastic 5 once that Queen of Pain comes back up. The Dream Call onto Vazio now as well. Vazio with the load stop trying to keep himself safe. Rolling Thunder comes through now as well. So they're going to be able to get the kill on the puck. The puck is get for the next 120 seconds though. Sonic Wave. They take down the line as well. Violent. What's he going to be able to do? That Thunder is available. Pion is going to be able to run himself away. The TP is going to be coming out. Do they have enough damage to take him down? They do not. He gets that TP back to base. But now Violent could be in a little bit of trouble. That Thunder is still available though. If he gets, he needs that panic button. If he needs to throw it up. The sounds comes out, the charge doesn't have the BKB. It's gonna go down. In fact, they might get this kill, they will get the kill. For Luna here, for the Alunations. We should say the finger comes out. Yeah, okay, he's gonna die. Eclipse gets yeah. used in this area of effect. They take down Dendi once again now. Can he get Violent? Violent's gonna pop that BKB. The right clicks though, Realm is gonna try and stand. It's gonna be oh, the Luna. You see the Jakiro Agonims destroying everyone? Yeah, they take down. Terrorblade once again. The chase is on now as well. Byback comes through from the Grimstroke. Is it going to come through from the Terrorblade now as well? Ice Path doesn't actually connect. Charge though. There's going to be a good 
dive onto the Jakiro. You know, seeing that the Aegis so is going to be down in the next minute. So, nope. Okay, they're just going to charge in onto Pion now as well. The Eclipse comes out into that area of effect. Now, the strike onto Pion is going to be knocking him through the ground. He will be able to get himself up to the higher ground with the help there of LWK. The Roar comes out onto the Pangalia. Ice Path's going to be used now as well. Looks like down the other back lines was that Sonic Wave. It's going to be enough damage to take down the Beastmaster. Marley gets a double kill there with the screen to take down the Grimstroke. Grimstroke already bought back the four staff out. It looks like it might be a kill onto the Spirit Breaker in return. But Realm, does he just want to try and man mode up against this Terror Blade? He does not. Yep, definitely doesn't. Dandy and though. He... Is he going to get the kill onto Vazio? There's going to be all sets coming through. Do they have enough damage to take him down? It looks like he might do. Yeah, he will do. Marlene gets that kill. But it does put the Queen of Pain into trouble. The Royal's going to be there, but he's got that A on this now. Pion runs himself forward. I think he just used his buyback to get into this fight. He did. Realm getting low 20 seconds left on this Aegis. I think he preferred to go down and get the full reset on the health. He will. So, Ice Path. Do they want to carry on going further now as well? Lincoln Sphere breaks onto the Queen of Pain, and that's actually going to be the um, the, the talent, the 18-second spell block, or the, the Hurricane Pike if he wants to. Mm -hmm. uh, and he can still buy the Agadim's upgrade and the shot. Oh, the charge comes through. Are they going to be able to get another strike here onto Dandy? Dandy's going to be caught out. Yule steps up, keeping him safe. Merlin on the back lines now as well. Gets that blink in. Gets the kill off the gems. Even going to be that. The kill. Eclipse! Gets he as well. Oh. The absolute destruction though, like you talked about, that Ion Cannon just going to try and go in here with the Sonic Wave. It looks like they're going to be able to get the lockdown onto Laguna. Laguna with the E in this, even with the Rolling Thunder though. Roar comes through, it's going to be the Sonic Wave. They get the kill onto the Lion. LWK gets low, gets killed off, no buyback here for him. And this pops violent, he's going to try and go for a big last stand. The damage onto Realm, do they have enough to take him down? It looks like he's going to be able to park his own BKB using the Eclipse. But... Do they have enough to take down Violet? Violet's standing there. He's going to be into the ice path now as well with four heroes just stacking up onto him. Still gets the Sunder off onto Realm. Realm does, doesn't have that Satanic now for the next 13 seconds as well. But Realm, he's just going to stand a man fight. It's going to be the death of the Terror Blade. Dara takes him. Gets that kill. Pion, the last man standing. Buyback comes through from the Luna. That's going to be game. Not even needed the buyback.